Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and assalamu alaikum. In the name of the living and loving God, the merciful, the compassionate, may the peace and the blessings of God be with each and every one of you. I am Imam Yahya Hindi, the Muslim chaplain of Georgetown University. For those of you who do not know, you need to know this fact. <laughs> that Georgetown University became the first Amer the first college or university in America to hire a full-time Muslim chaplain back in 1999. So I do give the credit to Catholics and to Jesuits and to America. That in America we know how to accommodate people and we know how to work together. Now uh, I will not introduce Imam Khazwini or have someone else do that. But before I do that, I wanted us all to thank uh, someone who really worked very hard to make this event happen. Our Muslim program coordinator, uh, Nazir Harb. <laughs> we really worked very hard in almost uh, less than 30 days to make this happen, to track <laughs> Imam Qadwini down even in Mecca. He was in Mecca when, Imam, when, 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 when he was able to find him. So there was some kind of divine intervention <laughs> that Imam Qadwini's phone worked in Mecca, and he was able to say, yes, I will come. Um, I sit this here at the dinner, for those who were not there, I said that, um, uh, Back in September, I uh, was a part of a group of clergy, uh, rabbis, priests, pastors, ministers, and imams. We traveled for 3,183 miles from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, all the way to all the way down to Atlanta, Georgia, into Chattanooga, Tennessee, all the way up to Dearborn, all the way through Ohio, Pennsylvania welcomed in Frederick by our governor, Governor O'Malley, called us uh, the heroes of America. We basically went around to remind America of the soul of America. We said we need to protect the soul of America, we need to reclaim the soul of America. No American can speak of an America that belongs to one religion, one ethnicity, or one orientation. America is one country, of all backgrounds, of all nationalities, of all, of all interests, of all orientations. And what makes America special is that it's a country by all, for all. It was quite a journey. I, I, I have to say this. Uh, when we were in uh, a reform synagogue in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, I was asked to speak at the synagogue. And towards the end, and when we were having drinks and uh, food in the lobby of that synagogue, a lady came to me, 93 years of age. Could not herself walk without the help of two people who brought her to me. Asked me if she could hug me. I hugged her back. And I kissed her too. And as she had her head on my chest, she said with tears in her eyes, now I can die. I thought I hurt her by something I said in my sermon. She said, die? No, I don't want you to die. I love you. She said, no, no, I need it. Now I can die. I'm happy. I said, what do you mean? She said, I never wanted to die before I could pray with my siblings. I said, what do you mean? She said, I never thought I could live alone without the Christians and Muslims. I have been praying in this synagogue for all of my life. I just saw an evangelical minister praying next to me and an imam giving the homily. What a day of peace to die. Mm -hmm. It was a quiet story, Imam Khazmini. Our event today is um, about social justice and about peace the social justice that we all need and we have to make happen. It was two days before that day when we met Imam Qazwini at his wonderful, beautiful mosque in, in Dearborn. 
we were also a group of clergy when that caravan met um, about 60, I thought, actually, clergy from different backgrounds in that mosque. And I told Imam Qazwini, you really need to come and meet with our students. They would have a lot to learn from you. And here he is. He is with us at Georgetown University. So on behalf of myself as a Muslim chaplain and the Muslim chaplain, say on behalf of campus ministry and of Georgetown University that made this happen, I welcome each and every one of you, and I know you'll enjoy the coming hour or so. Because of what I said at the dinner, this is about the future of America, this is about the future of the world. To ensure we have a better future, we need to work on and empower our youth, our children. The why I asked Sohail uh, Cesar, to, to, who is here in the college, the class of 2014, in two years he will be getting married. I'm looking for a wife for him, so let's talk about that. He's really shy now. Uh, uh, he's from Philadelphia, a Philly man. He's a really Philly man, if you really talk to him. I asked uh, Sohail to introduce Imam Qazwini uh, to give us hope that tomorrow will be a better tomorrow for all of us. So here. Good job. Good job. All right, welcome everybody. Imam Sayyid Hassan al Ghazwini is a seventh generation Muslim scholar from Iraq. Imam Ghazwini's family, family was persecuted by Saddam Hussein's regime and so immigrated to Kuwait. Imam Ghazwini, at around the age of 16, then left Kuwait after Saddam's regime continued to pursue the Ghazwinis across the border. He traveled to the holy city of Qom, the largest Shiite seminary in the world where he was educated in Islamic sciences. After graduating from Qom, Imam Ghazwini moved to the United States in 1992, where he became the director of the Az Zahra Islamic Center in Los Angeles. In 1997, Imam Ghazwini moved to Dearborn and became the leader of the Islamic Center of America, one of the largest Muslim communities in the United States. After 9-11, Imam Ghazwini rededicated his educational mission to dispelling misconceptions of Islam and became deeply involved in peace building and reconciliation efforts around the world. Imam Ghazwini is the author of Prophet Muhammad the Ethical Prospect. His latest book is called American Crescent. In it, he discusses Islamophobia and the future of Islam in America. Imam Khazmini has recently returned from a tour of the Middle East, including time in Iraq. Please welcome Imam Khazmini. <laughs> brother Imam Hindi, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum and peace be with you. I'm so honored and delighted to be speaking before such a distinguished group of people tonight. I would like to thank you all for taking this out of your very busy schedule and be here with us tonight. I would like to particularly thank the Muslim chaplaincy in Georgetown University and my brother Imam al Hindi. I also would like to thank my uh, friend Nazir uh, Haru for uh, working so hard to make, ensure that I would be coming here tonight and to be with you. And also, I would like to thank the brother Sohail who introduced me tonight. So, I'm so glad that I'm here with you tonight. I'm so fascinated with the work of Imam al Hindi. And he forgot to tell you also that I sit with him uh, on the foundation of the organization that he helped founding. It's called uh, Clergy Beyond Borders. And I am honored to be a member of that organization as well. Imam, I admire you and I'm inspired with your work. And the story you told about that uh, lady who hugged you and who kissed you 